Hey everyone, it's Victor here, and today I'm going to update you on my life because it's been a while that I've been on this channel and I feel like I'm repeating myself because that's what I say every single time I come back on here. It's been a while! It, it genuinely has. That's because a lot's happened. My backdrop. I've moved. Yes, me and Teddy are in our own little flat. We have our own little separate flat now. It is so much better than before. We feel much more independent. It's been a struggle, but we're getting there. It's very small. We live in a very, 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 very small apartment with three cats, and it has been interesting. It, it, it continues to be interesting in good and bad ways. But that's the major big change in my life that I have moved. I am no longer in that old address. I just felt compelled to make a video today, and I haven't felt that feeling in a long time. I used to make a video twice a week, and I don't know who that guy was. He had very different energy levels and priorities in life, because I am still working, I'm still doing my apprenticeship, I am close to finishing that now, in July next year, 2023, I will have my final exam. And I will be, fingers crossed, a qualified hairdresser, so that's a good thing. I'm still moving forward with that. My location has changed, but I feel like also I have changed as a person. And that's something I want to delve more into in this video, is the change in myself, because that's something I felt really strongly, uh, in, a, in a kind of scary way, actually. Also, just forgive me, because you may hear noises of people what <laughs> There's thin ceilings, um, so, and there's people upstairs, so... <laughs> If you hear people walking around and talking and shouting and, and God knows what, that's what it is. So I'm sorry about that. Can't do anything about it. We want to install soundproofing in the ceiling, but that's just like some other job we have to do. Like, we have to grout tiles, we have to um, sort out the damp problem, um, we have to paint the floor. There's a lot of things on our to-do list, so that's low down on the list because of the expense. But that's what it's like, having a flat. Especially an old building, an old stone building. So, anyway, that's beside the point. Since I last spoke to you, I feel like a different person. Although I suppose in my last video I was complaining about how annoying people were and how weird life was, which is kind of where I'm still at. But I have a different attitude towards it now. I feel much more like I've come to accept the fact that people are a bit and that I'm going to live my life regardless. I used to be so heavily affected by what people thought of me, uh, how I came across in my daily life to strangers, but that no longer resides in my mind. I feel freed from that, and I don't know whether that's age. I am getting older. In fact, it's my birthday in exactly a month. So it might be that. It might be that I'm finally getting old and bitter. I knew it would happen one day, but I think I've just been through a lot in the past couple of years, and I feel like a lot of people are in the same boat, that I've realised what's important and what's worth focusing on and what's not, and there's so much that I focused on before, which is just so not worth it. It's not worth it. And I don't know why I didn't come to the conclusion earlier that I have to reprioritize myself and what I want, not what other people want. Some people may call it a villain era, and that seems to be a very common term to use lately. This is quite fashionable to have a villain era. But I think the essence of a villain era is not necessarily becoming evil, it's becoming, like, self-made. It's becoming self-determined and respecting what you want and making that happen in life. And I think people call that villainy because we shouldn't be allowed to be happy according to society. I think especially people like me who are queer and a bit out there and just, I don't know, a Scorpio. Uh, society doesn't want us to be happy, naturally. They want us to be, you know, like, blend in. Uh, not hypersexual. Not into weird... Not into cannibals on the TV, not into gore or alternative fashion. I don't know. What I'm saying is, if you're even the slightest bit different uh, from what the big heavy leather book on what people should be according to a cis white man, then, you know, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard for you. So I think I encourage the villainy, if the villainy 
is about getting what you want and not being stepped on anymore. And I'm done with being stepped on, apart from in certain circumstances. But I'm not going to be stepped on by the patriarchy. Or just people that wish me harm. There's so many people out there that wish you harm, even not necessarily in a violent way, but just in a mental way. In, in, in just a... Uh, in a way that stops your comfort. In a way that makes you feel less like yourself. There's so many people that want to stop you feeling comfortable in your skin. And I just don't listen to them anymore. I feel completely like I have transcended that insecurity. I don't feel it anymore. In fact, I just rebel more against people that say shit at me or try to... I don't know. I think I've just snapped. I think I've snapped, but I've snapped in a controlled way. And my life has drastically improved since I have been practicing villainy. I'm going to call it villainy just because it appeals to me. So many good things have been happening in my life. This move was one of the first things that just, it, it, it helped me break out of my shell and give me that independence that I've wanted for so long. And this is only a temporary solution. We're only going to be here for a year, a year or two, just so we can find our feet save up for a deposit and hopefully get a mortgage, which <laughs> in this day and age is interesting, but that's ideally what we want to do next. I wonder if I can turn my ring light up a little bit. Oh, is that better? I don't know if that's better or less atmospheric. Maybe that's nicer because you can see more of the blue. I don't know. I haven't done this. In, I haven't done this in a while. My best friend came to visit from America. It was incredible. We went to Kitacon down in Coventry. That was so good. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen all the stuff from that. It was amazing. Uh, Sky stayed for two weeks. So it wasn't just the con. We hung out. We made content. We just, you know, vibed. But they, they happened to arrive at the worst time because we were just moving at that time. So we were moving things from the previous house to here. And I was losing my mind. In fact, one night I actually did. I was in cosplay because me and Sky were creating content in the graveyard as you do. And I was walking down the road with moving, like, uh, what do you call it? Bag trucks, sack trucks, with like boxes of moving boxes. Boxes, moving boxes, piles of moving boxes. And a man came out of the pub and obviously he saw me in cosplay. I had a top hat on like this. And he said to me, well, this is interesting. And I was so full of manic rage and, and just stress. That I was like, Yes, it is. Very good, sir. Have a good evening. And I, like, tilted my top hat to him in a very maniacal way. Uh, and I think... Uh, he died. No, he didn't. He wasn't that old. But uh, it, it, it was fun in a kind of stressful, maniacal way. I lost my mind a little bit with the move. It, it drove me to the point of insanity. So pe perhaps that's what... Perhaps I've just gone insane. Perhaps I have just passed the, the threshold of sanity. That's it. Maybe that's what it is. But I, I don't feel uncomfortable. I feel like that's when you know someone's gone crazy because they don't actually think they've gone crazy. They just think they feel great. So yeah, maybe the best thing to do is worry about me. But I feel quite happy and content. So perhaps we should just all start a cult and um, have fun. My hair is different from last time. Slightly longer, I think. Oh, actually, no. I grew it out and then chopped it off again. So it's probably at the exact same length that it was in my previous video. That's so weird. I feel like my hair has been through so many different versions. Um, I had little bits cut off the front so that it would, like, fall in a slightly new interview with a vampire Lestat way, which I'm obsessed with. I'm afraid I am one of those heathens that got a VPN just to watch it. Watch it, please. It's really good. Some people get very angry about it because they really, really, really don't like it because it's slightly different and it's set in a slightly different time. Uh, but all I can say is, all right, good for you, but I'm enjoying it, okay? So you just, you don't enjoy it over there and I'll enjoy it over here. It's canonically gay, all right? I need this in my life. I need canonically gay, Louis and Lestat. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't go on without that. So that's been fun. I've also developed a massive obsession with Hell of a Boss. So much so, I, I, I binged it all in one night, and 
cosplayed human version of Blitz, which you may have seen on TikTok or Instagram. If not, go and find it. I'm not going to pop it up here because that's just not getting my other content out there. So go and find me on there instead, because I seem to be much more active on there anyway. And probably no one's watching this. Hello, if you are. The, the five of you that are here who remember I exist. Bless you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. But you can see, because this is this is our mirror in the background, so you can just see. Um, you can just see the ring light. Uh, it makes the the room is quite small, so it makes the room feel much bigger. And in fact, I'll just quickly show you the room. I'll show you it from a selfie perspective. So there is the bed. We have a few squishmallows thrown around the place. I have my light there. This is my ring light. Um, there's some things hanging by the fire. It's an electric fire, not a log fire. Um, but we have a little chair here, we have our TV, we have some Hannibal art, we've got our curtain, which is the entrance to the hallway, that's where I was just recording, sitting on that incredibly ugly throw, but it's for the cats to sleep on, and I was going to move it for filming, but then I forgot, and I didn't want to sit on cold hard wood, I know what you're thinking, to film, um, so I just kept it on there. We've got a bird cage hanging from the ceiling. We do actually have a new light fitting, which we're going to fit, because that light is so ugly, I can't bear to look at it, but we haven't got round to fitting it yet, so I'm going to show you it just now, if I can actually get it out of where it's been living. So this is our new light fitting, which we're going to put in there where the bird cage is hanging, um, but we haven't got round to it yet. It's definitely like, could impale someone on this light fitting, which of course is the vibe I go for. So. Right, just while I'm here, I'll show, you the little, I'll show you the little fire. I'll turn the fire on and move all these heckin' clothes out of the way, because that's the only problem, is <laughs> it's a basement. If you haven't realised, there's no windows. Look, no windows. There's no windows. We live in a sex dungeon. So, uh, <laughs> the issue is the damp. So we have to keep this on. There he is, he's cute. There's some tiles. Got some, got some um, pumpkins. I'm kind of doing like a room tour now, but I didn't intend to do a room tour, so it is a little bit messy. We have some art on the back wall, which is, well, beds here. Doo -doo -doo. And we have some more Hannibal art. Got some idiothermia art. Hyde, oh my god, you need to check out his art if you don't already know it. He focuses like entirely on drawing beautiful trans men. Um, and he's made me feel extremely good about myself and my body, just through his art. And I have so many of his pieces. I actually have one of his pieces in the bathroom, um, which I will show you in a second. Um, another mirror, a cute mirror, some Sherlock art, some over the garden wall art, some Kylux stuff. Oh yeah, that, that, when we moved in, Teddy was like, oh, it's really ugly, the ceiling. Let me just peel off a bit of it and we'll redo it when we move in. Did we ever redo it? No. So he peeled it off. And now it's just ugly. So that's fun. Uh, if you're wondering where Teddy is, he's down at the laundrette drying our clothes. Oh yeah, Teddy has, an, has a Nanami shrine as well. Um, this is part of his Nanami shrine. He has this figure. I bought him that. Um, I also bought him this. <laughs> I, I have bought him most of his Nanami. Uh, wait, hold on. Can he sit on my shoulder? Can he sit on my shoulder? Can he sit on my... <gasps> A little man. So he's got so much more. He's got the plushie. Can't show you all. I'm all... I can't actually show you all because it's just, it's a bad idea. I won't show you all the hallway, but this is our hallway at the moment. Um, we've got a few, little, well, Grayson's sleeping down there. We've got pumpkins. We've got little ghosts. Look at this man. Look at these men. They're so happy. We have this boy. He's so cute. Uh, from Over the Garden Wall. It's uh, by Seance Stitches. They're very talented. This is, uh, I'm not going to show you the bathroom because it's covered in just washing and piles and piles of nonsense. So um, we're still sorting the bathroom out. So it's my other ilio iliothermia art. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I have so much of it. Anyway, back into the room with the nice lighting that I've set up specifically to film. I'll do a proper tour when I actually clean the place. So you'd have to see it in a mess. Um, oh, there's more iliothermia art up there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Let's let you zoom in. There we go. It's very, very pretty. It's gorgeous. Check them out. I'll tag them. Put them in the description. I got this at Chesterfield Pride. 
it's very good. It, 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 it's, it's great. It's huge. We've been in here since August, and it's October now. Um, and we were actually away for two weeks in September. So <laughs> we've not had much time to settle in and, and get it how we want it. And obviously it's money dependent and things like that. So I think we're doing good. I think it's cute. It's a little nest. It's a little place to be ourselves, a little bit of privacy. I have a front door that locks. Uh, actually, my, my key ring for my front door is an Iliotherma key ring. Hold on, I'll grab it. Here it is. You see that? It's huge. It's like a massive. Here's me for scale. It's so great. So, like, I, I'm, I, my entire existence is designed by this man. His art is incredible. If you don't follow him, then you're dead to me. Pearl, you're looking so dramatic right now in this lighting. You look like an evil cat. Meow, meow. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm rambling on, but basically, sh long story short, we moved. I have reprioritized myself and the way I think and the way I live my life. I just feel like I am happier and I just don't give a crap anymore uh, what people think. I'm, I'm only caring about what I think and what I want to do, but I'm still treating people fairly. I'm not going to like go out of my way to make other people uncomfortable. That's something that's really important in, in a kind of journey of self-love. I, if I say self-love, it, it doesn't sound nearly as good as villain era or villain arc, but basically what I'm saying is like, live your best life, but don't be a bastard about it, okay? Other people are also trying to live their best lives. Don't drag other people down, you know, to make you f make yourself feel better. That shouldn't be part of your journey of self-love and self-respect because, no, it's no good. It's no good. I hope that you found somewhere safe. I hope you're in a good place mentally and physically. And if not, I hope you find that soon because it's a good place to be. I think you deserve it. Once I qualify next year, I will have more time to create videos. I'm not promising any more often now because I know that it won't happen. I, I will upload occasionally when I feel like I have the energy and the time, but the fact that I've moved now and I have a space that is under my control, and under my dominion, I will be able to record much more often on my days off. And I actually have more days off at the moment. I'm doing less hours at work um, just through circumstance. It's not that I'm behaving badly. I'm, I'm getting time off for good behavior, if anything. So I may be creating more, and I'm always creating on TikTok and Instagram and all those stupid apps which I spend too much time on. That's the one thing I want to cut out in my, in my new villainy. So look after yourselves. Watch this space. If you want to see me do more on here, please let me know, because I won't know otherwise, and I might just disappear forever. I'm that kind of person. I'm a, I'm a Scorpio, for God's sake, so... You know, I, I can just disappear off the face of the earth. So if you actually want me to stay on the face of the earth, maybe worth telling me. All right. So take care and I will see you very soon.